Welcome back guys to Savvy Tribe Life. If you're new here, I'm Tracy and my channel is all about everything that I love. So shopping, clothes of course, plus size fashion, body positivity of course, as well as a day in my life, some travel vlogs thrown in, as well as a little bit of my teacher life and a lot of stationery and planners. So if you love any of those things and would like to stick around, then definitely please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Okay, and let's get started with this haul. Okay, so today's haul is kind of a little mix of some things that I've recently gotten. So we are going to have a little bit of Torrid, a little bit of Chic Soul, one item from Abercrombie & Fitch, and some new bags. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get started. There's something about the way that you understand and if you're curious what dress I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing one of my Ivy City dresses and I'm pretty sure, is it called the Lacey or the Lanny? I'll put like a little tag right here to show you guys like what it is on screen. Um, but absolutely love this dress. You actually saw this in my cemetery spooky photos and vlog that I did. So this is the dress that I wore that day. And this is actually the same day that I've been filming that because I even told you I was going to be filming these hauls um, when I got home. So that's the dress that I'm wearing right now. I will link it below. Um, it is one of my favorite. It is super, super comfortable, very light, comfortable linen, very plus size friendly. I think I'm wearing either the 2X or the 3X, but I will let you know below. And of course, link it. Okay, so this is my chic soul dress. Unfortunately, this one is a no-go. I did order a 2X based on my measurements and it is way too tight. So this one definitely runs small. So if you are about my measurements, which I will put down below, I am about a size 18 right now. Um, so I'll put my measurements below. But if you're about my size, definitely size up. And I'm like bursting at the seams. I'm gonna show you too close because you guys can see my bra. But I'm definitely bursting at the seams in the chest area. And I'm actually smaller chested for a plus size girl. So if I'm about a B cup, so if you're anything larger than a B cup, then definitely don't go here. I know my mom who struggles with that, she just stays away with real buttons down the front period um just because it's always an issue for her it's also very very tight in my arms i didn't see any arm measurements as well i only saw measurements for they give you measurements for the bust the waist and the hips online um so very very cute if it fit i'm not sure if the 3x would fit or not i'm going to show you it comes about mid cap on me and i am five or super cute kind of little house on the prairie as kind of dress with some tears um, and their different colors super pretty very beautiful fall dress but as I said unfortunately too too small okay the second chic soul dress is this really cute dress which I already own or I thought I owned this particular one but it feels like a different material than my other one um I will like put a little picture of me trying on the other one either side by side or down below sorry my hair got a little messed up I'll take my other dress off by the way the dress she just saw buttoned all the way down the front like all the way like it was com completely opened which made getting out of it so much easier I was afraid I was gonna have to pull up by the way this is not like a pretty thing to show you but plus size girls if you ever get into a situation where you're stuck in a dressing room and you're like, crap, I can't get out of this dress, it's too small, bend over, pull it up past your like back and your shoulders and then pull over your head. I don't know why it works, but bending over and then pulling it up like over your head gets you out of it 99% of the time. Once or twice I have been very thankful that I've had like my sister or my mom with me when I'm shopping and they've been able to help me get out of something. But if you're ever stuck in something and you're alone and you don't want to start screaming for help for the assistant, <laughs> embarrassingly, um, bend over. It'll get you out of it without ripping. Like I said, nine times out of ten, it'll help you get out of it. But like I said, I thought I already had this dress, but it feels like a different material. And as I remember, it is longer. Like I feel like I could get away with wearing this one to work possibly without leggings. But I swear my other one that I have, which is, like I said, this is more of like a 
thin like chiffon material with a slip underneath. My other one is just more of a cotton material with a little bit of stretch and it shrunk. I wore it twice with bare legs, like I wore it to work. Now I wear it with leggings and it's like barely covering my backside. You know, like I can only get away with it with leggings and I'm like, I swear I wore this dress. <laughs> I wore it to work. I even wore it to church. Like, I don't know. It shrunk. Um, but yeah, so this is very similar, just a different material. It has like a bow tie right here. It's really fun, like multicolored um, uh, pattern with little flutter sleeves. Um, super, super cute. Also, I didn't button it, but it does have like a little button part in the back. Super, super cute. Absolutely love this one. This one is definitely a keeper. Okay, really quick, I wanted to show you one of my items from Torrid with the Chic Soul dress. This is a new cardigan. It is a little bit big. It will button all the way, which I'm going to try out with a skirt that I got from Torrid. Um, it's super, super soft, and it's actually a 2X. I probably could have sized down, but that's pretty normal for me to be able to size down in cardigans um it comes pretty long like almost the bottom of my back end but super cute very very soft and i needed a new green one because the green cardigan i currently have is getting kind of ratty so i need a new cardigan but this is my torrid cardigan like i said it is a 2x and super cute Okay, so this is my next chic soul purchase, which is in a size 2X. And believe it or not, I actually think I could probably size down in this one, but I'm okay with it the way it is. It is a little bit long on the sleeves, but I am almost petite. I was talking to a lady who's like five foot and she was laughing at me. She was like, you're so tall. You are not petite. And I was like, yes, I am. I am petite. She was like, no, you're not. You're average. So apparently five, four is average and not petite, but I feel like I am like on that, like in between threshold where I have issues. Like I can't get sometimes regular size jeans are like super, super long on me. Um, so I do sometimes get short length it's just always check your inseam you know so i always say because you just never know um but uh, i am short and for but i am i've always considered myself petite um and this top um does run a little bit long on me but it's also a very very long like i feel like i could get away with this as a dress like, I think I could put leggings on in this be a dress. I kind of want to go try it. Let's put some leggings on and see. Okay, so I put a pair of my old navy, oops. I put a pair of my old navy leggings on. And yeah, as expected, I feel like I could easily get away with this as a dress with leggings. I might be able to get away with it as a regular dress, but it's a little bit too short for comfort in the back as you can see but it does come just past my back end um but yeah cute with jeans or with leggings like i said i could easily wear this as a dress super super cute it is this really soft like almost like t-shirt sweater it's like a it's like a sweater material but super thin so kind of like a soft like t-shirt not flannel but it, I don't even know how to describe this material, but it's very, very soft, very, very comfy. And then it's got uh, the tiered um, bottom, which is more of that like um, polyester kind of material. Um, and it's tiered. You have like the yellow, the green, and then like a mix of greens and yellows and blues at the bottom. Super cute and very ball. Once again, this one is in a 2X. And for my size, I probably could have sized down like a tiny bit if you want a little bit more of a fitted look. Um, but actually, I think I like the fit that it is. And it might shrink a little. You never know. Um, but always follow the guidelines. I must have accidentally thrown that other dress in the dryer. But always be careful with your clothing. Um, or you may go from having a dress to more of like a tunic. <laughs> um, but yeah, super, super cute. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, so my next piece of clothing is this Tori jean jacket. Believe it or not, I don't think I've ever owned a jean jacket. I've always 
I think kind of frayed maybe of a structure. Um, I did get this one in a three because I always like to have a little bit more of uh, like breathing room and coats and I'm glad I did um, because to button this one up, it is gonna be like a little bit tight. I may weirdly need a 4X in this. Um, I'm like burning up in this right now. Um, but yeah, so I probably wouldn't wear it buttoned up. I just wanted you to see what it looked like. Like I said, this is a three, guys. A three. And I'm a size 18. Yeah. Uh-huh. But then that two sweater was a little big. Like I said, I've even gotten cardigans in a zero at Torrid, and it fit me correctly. I think Torrid... Double zero is like a 10, 12, zero, no, maybe double zero is a 10, and then zero is like a 12, 14. Am I saying that right? Maybe double zero is like a 12, and then zero is like a 14, 16, and then a one, no, I think a two is 18, 20. I don't know, I'd have to look at it. I'm totally confusing myself right now. <laughs> I'll put it like somewhere what the sizing guide is because it's driving me crazy. I can't remember what's what. I know two is eighteen twenty, so that would mean that a one is a fourteen sixteen, and then a zero is a ten twelve, or maybe they go by like single sizing. Lo the lower you go, I'm not really sure, but I'd probably wear this open like this. But I'm just not a fan of I think the structure of it. I just never have been. But I'm trying to remember what this one's called. Let's see. Let me know what y'all think though. Are you like, Tracy, what are you thinking? That's adorable on you. Medium wash denim trucker. And it is a 3X, which is a 2224, which buttoned up is a little tight on me. Torin, what are you doing? I'm a size 18. And you're saying a 22, 24 won't button around my apple waist. Get it together. <laughs> um, but it fits fine over my chest. So it's like tight here over my hips and my like apple waist. But my chest fits fine because my chest is smaller. If I had like a, like a C or a D cup, which would be perfectly appropriate for a person my size, this would be super tight too. You're going to make an 18, a size 18 girl with a D cup feel like she needs like a four or five X jacket because of her chest. Like that's just wrong, right? Like get it together, you know? Um, but yeah, so not in love with the denim jacket, probably going back, but let me know what y'all think. Are you denim jacket girls? Do you think I need to try a different style denim jacket? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. <laughs> okay. So really quick. I wanted to show you guys the new Abercrombie dress that I got. This one is in an XXL. It does have this little like v-neck, which is a little low. So I feel like if I was wearing it to work, I might need to wear like a little, you know, cami underneath it. Um, it does have like a cinch elastic sleeve right here. So it does ride up just a little bit to create a puff. It has a cinched waist right below the bust. It does have pockets. And it does have an extra tier down at the bottom. I think I could probably get away with this one without, um, actually, oh, I just realized, I was like, what is that? It's doing this like double tier thing. So it has like this little ruffle above the final tier and that's what I'm feeling. So yeah, I could definitely wear this without leggings as just a dress. Super, super cute. I really love it. And like I said, it would be work appropriate, but I might need to wear, like I said, like a little camisole underneath it to make it more appropriate. But very, very cute. I really, really love this. And once again, this is Abercrombie and XXL. All right, and the last outfit of this haul is once again, I told you I would show you what the cardigan looked at when I buttoned it up. And then I have it paired with this really cute kind of like, it's not a pencil skirt. It's more of like a skater style because it flares at the bottom. 
give y'all the full effect, but it's like this tartan material and it's long enough so that I can easily wear it to work. It's a really stretchy like scuba material that you see with Torrid a lot. The skirt and the cardigan are both in a 2X. It does have pockets. But yeah, super cute. I really like it and it comes like fully down to my knees. So easily appropriate for work. Super, super cute, love this. And now final two pieces of this haul are my new bags. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this one. It's actually been on my wish list for a while. And when I saw it on sale, I had to get it. Um, this is Katie Loxton. I originally heard about her through another YouTuber, like a British YouTuber that I follow. Um, what's her name? It's Jody, right? Jody. Oh, I'll put her tag down below. Um, but yeah, it is a plus size approved. It does cross body perfectly fine. It would be super cute over the shoulder as well, as well as just, which I think is the way I'm going to carry it. I mean, look at that. I am all about bags that look designer, but for a non-designer price. So I am all about like, I have Kate Spade sale bags. I already have one Katie Loxton bag. This pink one, which is square and super, super cute. is one of my favorite bags, also plus size approved. So I'm absolutely <laughs> in love with this one. I kept the packing in it so you could see. Um, I bought it on sale. This one originally goes for, it doesn't say, I can't remember what the price of this one was. I wonder if I can find the tag, one second. I don't know, it doesn't say the price, but I will put the price like right here, what the original price was, and then I got it, I think like 40% off. And this one's called the Talia Two-Tone Messenger Bag. This video is not sponsored. Um, I just love their bags. And I, like I said, I think they look designer without being a designer price. Like I think I got this for like $30, guys. $30. And it looks designer, doesn't it? And this one is two-tone. Super, super cute, very roomy on the inside. It's got a side pocket, of course, like a zipper pocket, and then very, very roomy. You could easily fit several things inside of here. Um, so this one actually is called a messenger bag. It does have a clip closure. I think it's absolutely adorable. It is going on the shelf where everyone can see it. <laughs> um, and I will show you guys my other bag really quick. I mean, how cute is that? This is another square one, but it's kind of like a mini one and it does have a different type of handle. I will again show you the, this pink one that I have is bigger. And then it also kind of has more of like an envelope closure top on top. This one is this really beautiful like taupe brown color and it is smooth like a, like a vertical, right? <laughs> horizontal um like closure right here with a like gold bar they always have like the um Katie Loxton um uh label right there embossed it has two pockets it has a pocket right here and then it also has another non-zipper pocket on the inside but super cute this one you can't do cross body you would have to do it over the shoulder but I think that would still be super super cute i mean what do y'all think oh my gosh i think it is adorable and it would be really really cute on the wrist just walking like you know how far back you can get just walking around town like this so so cute in love i've just recently gotten into bags and I drool over some designer bags that I will never feel comfortable paying thousands of dollars for or even hundreds of dollars used for. Um, so to be able to find a bag company that's like moderately priced or affordably priced when they're on sale that look designer, just perfect chef kiss, right? Um, but yeah, I absolutely am in love with this bag. Once again, I'm going to put this one on the shelf as well. You put those both on display. 
but yeah super cute um i am absolutely in love with this two new bags so if you guys haven't checked out checked out katie Lawson, i highly recommend it um i think they're a british based company but uh they ship super fast just fyi in the states um but yeah so i really had fun with this haul today let me know what your favorite pieces were i think one of my favorites i really love that new abercrombie dress and i really like that chic sole top that could double as a tunic dress and a top i think but those are cute but i'm actually like really liking this little like fall tartan dress um uh outfit um is it too schoolgirl? Let me know your thoughts. Um, but yeah, I think it's super cute and definitely appropriate for work. Um, so let me know what your favorites are. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this particular video, please hit that like button. It would mean the world to me. And if you would love to join my Savvy Charmed Life family and watch more clothing hauls and watch more clothing hauls, shop with me, stay on my lives, travel vlogs, stationery um, videos, all sorts of things, then hit that subscribe button. Um, and you can be part of the fam. Okay, guys, I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. There's something about